to the Digital Marketing News. I'm Tiffany Allen. And with your first story this week, I am Joshua Knight. Uh, hey, this week I have a dispatch from our rapidly collapsing and declining civilization. Great! Uh, possibly an indication that we live in the end times. Oh no. So yes, but relevant for marketers. So hey, uh, Twitter is testing its own version of one guess. Social media. Close. <laughs> Stories. Oh. Remember that format that uh, Snapchat started, Instagram borrowed, Facebook has tried, LinkedIn is throwing their hand in a little bit. Uh, Twitter's doing it. Uh, okay. And they're calling them fleets. No. They are. Uh, so these are <laughs> tweets that disappear after 24 hours. Oh. They uh, are basically for people who want to be on Twitter but feel like having other people see their tweets all the time is a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Given some of the ways that things have turned out for people on Twitter, maybe sure. they're right. <laughs> However, uh, these are only going to show up on your profile. People are going to have to go there and look at them, or there may be a little bar above your, uh, your little pane of activity, mm -hmm. somewhat the same way as Instagram will circle. Sure. But these things cannot get likes. They can't get retweets. They can't be replied to, and they don't show up in anyone's timeline. You have to go to their own spot to get them. So, mm. so marketers, keep an eye on this format. Yeah. Uh, we may find ourselves fleeting against our will. Uh, some would say that <laughs> all happiness is fleeting now that this is happening. But <laughs> no, uh, as far as we know, Instagram is the only platform that has really managed to pull this off. But LinkedIn just entered the fray, so we'll see how they do. Yeah. And like, keep an eye on this, but only half an eye. Yeah, just the good half. Right. Speaking of things that you watch with your eyeballs. Oh, we are. Hey, we are. YouTube. You guys know about YouTube. I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they now have enabled side-by-side -side comparison of metrics in their analytics. Wow. That's one of those things where you're like, they didn't already have that. But that's right. great that they have it. You just <laughs> use two screens and try hard. Um, but now you can find it in the deep dive section of YouTube analytics, the dashboard. Um, you click see more on the screen under any metric and compare multiple metrics side by side in the same graph, for nice. example. For example what? Right. Views and uh, comments. So a little match up there. Views versus comments. We don't know what's the percentage of people commenting on a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. We could find out. Um, so you can gauge your engagement that way, right? There's lots of potential for finding correlations and testing, of course. Making sure you're looking at the analytics is always mm -hmm. the first step. Yeah, so love it. YouTube getting a little smarter, a little more apt to give marketers the information that they need to improve their marketing. Yeah. Hey, speaking of ways to improve your marketing. Nice. Yeah. Um, purpose. Huh? It seems. Remember the old days when we used to, used to not have a purpose? Yes. Yeah, some would say we're still there. No. Uh, <laughs> B2B companies are seeing purpose as a path to success. So, turns right. out, folks tend to like it if companies have... Uh, a stance, an opinion, a reason for existing beyond just making money. Yeah. So that is something that reaches out to people. So this was an interesting survey from the Association of National Advertisers. They surveyed B2B professionals and 86% of them said that purpose is important to the business. Right. So 93% though said that they are on their purpose journey. Ooh. They haven't fully uh, achieved their purpose. They haven't gotten to the mountaintop and had the purpose revealed right. below them, but they're on the journey. Yeah. And that's important. You know, because the, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. <laughs> so you don't stop believing. Oh, no. eh, never mind. <laughs> Over half. <laughs> the important thing, though, uh, besides the fact that you're holding and loving and touching and squeezing right. another. Got it. That's all the journey sounds I know. That's good anyway, enough. Anyway, <laughs> oh, all of them. Yeah. So over half of these folks said that they are more focused on purpose today than they were three years ago. So I think this is important for anybody who's working in B2B or really any industry. Folks want to know what you stand for. Yeah. Or you'll fall for anything. Right. Uh, or we'll all hang separately. Exactly. Hey, but well, you know what? Speaking of things that have changed in the last three years. I love things. And change. No, I fear change. But go uh, ahead. Fair enough. Um, there's new research that shows that Gen Z is pulling back from social media. I like to think they're going yeah, exactly in the dark as we do. Mm -hmm. um, so they are less likely to be on Twitter and Facebook and more likely to be on smaller insular sites using ephemeral media. So like fleets. fleets. <laughs> Good. Uh, they're also using games like Fortnite and Minecraft uh, as social networks. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. But you okay. know, that makes sense. Um, they're keeping it real. The fake perfection of old school Instagram is just not for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that makes sense. For marketers, it's a challenge. Gen Zers are entering the workplace and will have to get um, a better idea of their preferences and really start serving messages to them that they want to see, where they want to see them, that aren't 
old school Instagram perfect. Right. You gotta have a few blemishes and bumps to, to keep it extra real. Hey, you know what? We all do. Or advertise in Minecraft where everything is square and kind of pixely to begin with. Build your own KFC. Right. Huh? I think I'm just going to do that in real life, <laughs> honestly. So speaking of changing ways that you might address an audience, and we were, uh, the Chef Market, no, Chief Marketer's 2020 <laughs> B2B Marketing Outlook uh, had some interesting findings. This was a survey of B2B marketing professionals. Great. Uh, they asked, what are the types of content and the types of marketing that are most effective at moving people through your funnel? And the majority of the 55% said articles and blogs are the most useful. 43% said reviews and testimonials. And then down there at 38%, they said white papers. Oh. So I still think that we are probably oversaturating the white paper economy. Yeah. Marketers are still making them. Not everybody's reading them. I think we can look at some new interactive experiences that can really help people move through that whole funnel. Yeah, and the same survey found that the channels that produce leads with the highest ROI are... Uh, print ads. No, email marketing, uh, search marketing, so SEO and SEM, and content in that order. Makes sense. Yeah, definitely. And the three most valuable techniques for generating leads are... Any guesses? Uh, radio ads. Email marketing. Email marketing, okay. Uh, content marketing, and then in-person meetings, Ooh, right? right? But... Here's something that was a little shocking. Only 19% said they rely on co-created content to move leads through the funnel, <laughs> right? Mm. So that's a big opportunity to not only attract a new audience through working with influencers and thought leaders, but also build credibility with your own audience. Mm -hmm. Kind of a win-win, so if you're not doing it, maybe you should think about it. Maybe get in there, yep. And also, we would like to hear what kinds of techniques and tactics you are using for influencer marketing, even if you are thinking about it or haven't really started your program yet. We do have our first ever of its kind B2B influencer marketing survey. We do. You can find that on our blog, so head over there and take just a couple of minute quiz and then you'll have an opportunity to win a fabulous prize. I love it. Am I eligible? You, uh, employees of Topic Marketing are not eligible and in the, in the following 35 states, sorry Tennessee, no. <laughs> All of you can do it. Perfect. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. We'll be back next week with more marketing news. If you need more in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Tiffany underscore Ellen yep. or Top Rank at Top Rank. That is all true. And you can find me on Twitter at Night Rights, N-I-T-E-W-R-I-T-E-S. And please do subscribe to the blog and to this here channel for all the awesome content we will continue to bring you. All right. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Give me the old leaky eye, rock. <laughs> You're a wrecking machine. <laughs>